Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here as the recording of this Tuesday, March 5th, 2024. I have arrived here at the Central Florida Fairgrounds right off Colonial Drive. The Central Florida Fair is taking place, but I am not here. I've gotten a lot of, a lot of, the, I did the Florida State Fair over in Tampa. I did the Florida Strawberry Festival. And now I have arrived to yet another carnival type attraction. But I will not be here for the rides per se. I am here to check out a blockbuster video pop-up put on by the people who own or or have the last blockbuster store in Bend, Oregon, which I have never been to. So because I can't make that commute immediately right now to go there, they have brought it here to Central Florida and I'm gonna check it out. It's located inside the Central Florida Fair. I'm inviting you to join me for a little VHS throwback eve. It's about four o'clock. It's like two or three minutes till four when the gates open. And I wanted to check this out. I'm inviting you to join me. It's good to have you here. Shall you? I've seen a handful of other people showed up. It's been going on for a series of days. I wasn't able to make it out here until now. My good friend Tampa Jay came out here. He also did a haunt out here, and he might have done a ride or two. But he checked out the Blockbuster as well. Fellow fan of the VHS generation like I am. I thought, you know what? I need to see this with my own eyes. So here I am. Also the greatest carnival on the planet. That's an amazing statement. You gotta love these little up and backs that go back and forth, this way, that way, this way, that way, this way, that way. It's the greatest. Up and back, up and back. This time of year, pre-spring, a spring's in what, a week from now? Let's just call it spring. There's a lot of these events going on. This is kind of, this is this is crazy, back and forth. Now, I'm not sure how much it is to get into the Blockbuster, if that's included in the fare admission. But it looks like it's going to be $10 for me to get in. I'm not going to be getting a ride wristband, because I'm not going to be going on any rides. All right, this is pretty nice. It's only $2 today to get in. It's $2 Tuesday. $2 Tuesday. Enjoy. $2 entry to the fair. So it is not, in fact, $10. Every other day it is. Today, it's $2 Tuesday. $2 Tuesday. That's about how much a video rental used to be. Actually, some video rentals were a dollar. Sometimes they were five for five. The new releases back in the day were $2. That's when you know it was That's when you know it was a little, little pricey to get the new releases. Hey, here's a general layout of the land right here. There are some flowers down here that are not look like they're not really doing too good at the moment. I need a little, little watering, but this is the layout of the land. And I'm not sure exactly where it's located at. Oh, map number key, Fair Office, Haunted House, Vendor Village, Creative Arts, Orlando Amphitheater, Beer Garden, Livestock. I don't see a video store on there. Hmm, yeah, I just walk around, see what I can see. Oh, look at this, look at, well, okay, all right. Is it right here? Hmm. Doubtful. Is it over there? It looks like a, some sort of a fair setup. That's not, or not a fair, but a circus setup. Look at this. They make it a blockbuster night. I will also say this. Blockbuster was not my favorite video store. I have a little nostalgia for Blockbuster, but some of my favorite video stores aren't doing like reunions like Blockbuster is. I would say I had two or three other places that I liked better. I like some of the independent ones a little bit better than the, the big boy, the Blockbuster. But I did go to Blockbuster a lot. But just to put it out there, I, I think there was better ones. Blockbuster, a couple negative things about Blockbuster is they didn't have a lot of options. Sometimes you'd go in and you could ask for a movie, even like an Academy Award winning movie. Like one time I went in and said, hey, where can I find Network on VHS? They had no idea what I was talking about. And then sometimes they would take movies and they would chop them up. They would do blockbuster edits and they would chop out things from the film. So those are the two little weird things that I will say is a little asterisk to my blockbuster fandom. Still still like it, but they were, they, were, they, were, they were kind of a weird company. And I should also add in, I worked for a video store, an actual VHS store, right up until Blu-ray started getting popular, and the guy that owned it decided he was gonna close the store and instead of transferring his inventory from VHS to Blu-ray. He, he's like, his, his, to paraphrase his thought process is, I'm gonna go down with the ship 
and he saw that the writing on the wall for the for the the, the enterprise known as the the video market was soon approaching and I was kind of like, well, that's kind of inter an interesting, interesting way to look at it because, you know, you can just move on to, to blue. But his inventory was so good for the VHS. He had so many deep cuts. His, his arsenal, his library of his inventory was just so freaking good that he didn't want to try to go rebuy all that on DVD. And I think he made the right choice because years later, DVDs and Blu-rays, you really can't find too many rental places anymore. It's all streaming now. So he's probably sitting back enjoying the the uh, the decision that he made that he that he got out at the right time video center in Kissimmee that was the store I worked at closed down many years ago right when VHS switched over to DVD he had a, he had a great inventory though I learned a lot about movies did you used to go to blockbuster video Blockbuster video growing yeah, up? Yeah, back in the day. Yeah, Very yeah. much so. You have memories of Blockbuster? Everybody, everybody went to Blockbuster video. There everybody is a block. waited in line and, and paid the $2 for the... Uh, $2? To have the uh, rewind fee, remember? That's right. The admission in here is $2, so I'm trying to tie that into the $2 thing. $2, $2 rides, $2, $2, oh. $2... Yeah, $2 rides, $2 Tuesday. Yeah, we were... Uh, please come out to the Florida Central Florida Fair. How long is the fair going on for? It'll end on uh, Sunday. I gotta say, I really like your guys' shirts too. This is Stan and this is Cindy. Come see okay. them at the at the fair. Okay. There's so much going on because we had the Kissimmee Fair, Central Florida Fair, we had the State Fair, and we had the Strawberry Festival. We had the Pasco it's, Fair. It's a lot of fairs. Month. You know, Pasco County Fair. And it's we got true. Fort St. Lucie Fair. It's a lot of fairs. All these, all these carnival. Um, the carnival side. This is their. This is the beginning of their season. So okay. this is. That's why. You're, uh, you know, you're flooded in this market right now because then everybody goes up north. And when I worked at Video Center, it was kind of kind of comical in my own mind because people would come out, come in, they would ask for recommendations and I would go through a whole spiel about what kind of movies they liked. I would give them some ideas, you know, older movie classics that we had in the, in the, the drama or the comedy section, all that kind of stuff. And then they would end up just listening to what I said and then they would make a beeline right over to the new release wall. In fact, the carpet had a worn track to the new release wall and I realized people don't want to watch older movies. They are, they think the new releases are the best. And I feel like that's probably a good business model. It's probably why Redbox is still around in front of convenience stores and stuff. I don't know where the heck I'm going. I guess you probably ask, but I feel like I don't think anybody, people working the attractions would know. Oh yeah, so I regained my train of thought from earlier, but before I went over to where the Dippin' Dots area was is, they used to have a book in the video center I worked at. It was, every year they would have a new edition of something called the Video Hound. That was before IMDB. It was like the, it was like the book version of IMDB before the internet. But it, yeah, anyway, the Video Hound, I believe, was called that book. I would study that thing, and it would tell you who directed something, what actor was in other movies, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It was definitely a wealth of knowledge. It was like a, a Bible for, or you know, an encyclopedia, maybe not a Bible, like an encyclopedia for film knowledge. Ah, all right, now getting an arrow here. Got the Blockbuster Experience right here, right on the side of this. They got this. They're utilizing this little uh, little section right here. I guess they must just be open up, pulling the table out right now. I guess I'm catching it right when they're right when they're opening the doors. All right, they said to come back in just a few minutes, so I walked inside this indoor area with some arts and crafts and some sort of a, like a, pl of, like a part of a plane over here. I guess that's what this is. Geocorp unit number 13 right here. You can see the front where the controls were and all that. It's like, and then there's a knight over there in his castle. I wonder if this night remembers 16,000 movies. There was one of those in Kissimmee, uh, right on 192. Uh, maybe a few blocks before you would get to John Young, like somewhere in that vicinity. And that place, man, that place had a lot of options too. And there was Video Center, the one I worked at, and there was also 16,000 movies. And there was uh, it. And they really did have probably close to 16,000 movies. They really kept up with the name. And every once in a while, you'll bump into an actual open video store. Indiana still has some family videos. I think there's some family videos still open. All right, price of admission, $3. I got a one day rental coupon here. All right, that's pretty neat. Take a look at this. Got the sign here. Got the ATM over there. I got another big sign over there. How's it going? Good, how are you? I'm going to give you those 
Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. Give me this. Give me the spiel. So we are the walkthrough Blockbuster Experience. We've traveled across the United States looking for abandoned blockbusters. Okay. So you can see these are all original countertops, original yeah. signing throughout the building. We even saw the quickie drop box right here from Atlanta, Georgia store that was probably left for about 15 years. We're assuming that this store closed in about 2012 according to the movies that we found on this coming attraction sign. Um, that's exactly how we found it, so that's how we left it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we do have about 15,000 DVDs and VHSs no matter what we find we put out. So all movies are $5 no matter what, so it is a treasure hunt. Okay, so you're not renting, you're selling. We're selling. Okay, gotcha. You do become a Blockbuster employee, so Ooh. you do get a vest for your shift, so you can put that on at any time. Sounds good. There's plenty of photo opportunities throughout the whole entire store. Okay. Uh, there's no time limit, but take your time. If you have any questions, you let me know. So everything's for sale for $5. All the movies are for sale. All the movies, no $5. what you find, yes. Absolutely. Sounds good. That candy, all the snacks are still for sale, just like the store. <laughs> That's awesome. So, all right, thank you. Absolutely, honey. Go ahead and put your vest on. Your shift started five minutes ago. My, You're a little late. My smock, your they call smock. it. Smock, yes, exactly. Yeah, I used to Absolutely. wear, used to wear one of these when I worked at Walmart. Very similar uh, color, color as a Walmart smock. So another fun tie-in. There was one time that I applied for Blockbuster Video years after I worked at Video Center out in the Manor in St. Cloud. It's between Jaws. It's way before YouTube. I applied, and the guy who was the manager decided not to hire me because I had tattoos. True story. So now, years later, I'm a Blockbuster, I'm a Blockbuster employee. Also a movie out, you get $25 to get the Blu-ray here. A documentary about the 9,000 locations down to one. Yeah, so no rentals, they're just all for sale. So anything in here is $5 when it comes to like, to any kind of like hard copy something. You get Jim Carrey the Majestic for $5, either VHS or DVD. I'm not sure if they're gonna have any Blu-rays. And you can't like buy this TV for $5. So it's just only, it's only the actual like physical media, if you will. They got the photo ops here with the double featured, you know, uh, double feature pillow and then the couch and the popcorn and the, the uh, Coca-Cola and the block. Oh, look at this. They have they even have the Make It a Blockbuster Night. DVD right there. There's Captain Marvel destroys Blockbuster stories. Those are great too. The old rewind machines. You would push that. Ooh, I don't want to break that, but you push that down to rewind it. It had different themed ones that you could rewind the VHS. And from working at a video store when I worked at Video Center, you realize that a lot of people do not re or did not rewind there. And there was I always heard this rumor that a lot of video stores would make more money off of the penalty fees, late fees and rewind fees than they would make off the actual rental fees. Never actually fact checked that or clarified it, but it seems like it would be right. And to rewind this would take a, would take a heck of a big machine right here. And just look at this, the last blockbuster on the planet, Bend, Oregon. One day I'm gonna get up there. I know a few people who've been up there. But I haven't been up there yet. Okay, there are other things for sale. Okay, I misunderstood. So obviously $5 for all the physical media, but then also the candy you can buy. If you want to buy a Reese's for $3, Sour Patch, Sweet Tarts, $3, the $3, Sugar Babies right there, the Baby Ruth, the Rice Krispie Treats, candy bars over here for $2 as well. We yeah, got some, some pretty good titles in here. Of course, Young Frankenstein, the classic right there, Breakfast Club. Burt Reynolds here with the, could be a screen used movie prop, it doesn't say that it is. The old mat down below here. It's also neat how the employee at the front was saying that they got all this stuff, closed down franchise stores, one of some of the 9,000 that closed, and they kind of either put them at the Bend, Oregon one or this, this revolving touring blockbuster right here. Now that is, that is interesting, in the movie, was this used in the movie? I just recently rewatched that. Actually, I watched it like a week ago again, the first, which is very difficult to find. In fact, it's not on streaming anywhere. I couldn't even like purchase it to stream, so I had to go on. I had to go on Amazon and buy the Blu-ray Cannonball One and Two, have it delivered to my house. So I watched Cannonball Run less than a week ago. I'm trying to recall what this was used in. He wasn't driving a truck that had this. Okay, one thing I'm noticing now: I'm not seeing any VHS. I'm only seeing DVDs which kind of, I guess, is what they had when the last stores closed. It was probably before the V. Oh, here's a few, Never mind. there's a few. We got the Slugger's Wife right here and the Rose, Bette Midler classic right here. Love some Bette Midler. Oh, some of these are kind of, 
kind of old school, a little Don Amici right here. So they do have a few VHS, of course, Top Gun. Three Men and a Little Lady, the sequel to Three Men and a Baby. Did pretty well. Bulletproof, the uh, the one, the fourth Adam Sandler, well, the fourth successful Adam Sandler movie, because you had Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore. Well, before that, there was a, there was another one. It was like kind of a, a going over. It was go overboard. No, Overboard. Going Overboard was a different movie. Overboard. No, go Overboard was with Goldie Hawn. Going Overboard was the first Adam Sandler. Then Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore, and then Bulletproof. Well, I'm just like. I have some uh, some throwback moments. Okay, there's some VHS. Oh, I recently watched this too. This classic Ghost Dad filmed on Bushnell in the uh, same room as Back to the Future. Back to the Future and old school. Ghost Dad was right next to well, two, two houses down from George McFly's on Bushnell in South Pasadena. That movie is not good. Everyone kind of dogs on Leonard Part 6, but I think Leonard Part 6 is actually a funner movie to watch than Ghost Dad. And also Ghost Dad, fun fact, Ghost Dad was directed by Sidney Portier, if I'm remembering correctly. I don't know, something about Ghost Dad, I, just, I remember it being good and I rewatched it about a month or two ago and I was like, oh wow, this movie is, uh, it's not even, it's not even good in a, in a fun bad way. Lunar Part 6, I'll, I'll stand behind, that's a, that's a fun bad movie. Oh, I feel so official having my smock on, I have not worn a smock like this since I worked at Walmart on the stock crew. I opened up the St. Cloud, well, the St. Cloud Walmart was part of the opening crew. I worked at Walmart for, I don't know, a year or two? Two years, and I used to always wear the smock. It would get very, very dirty, the smock. And it's very, very similar to this. In fact, these might be old Walmart smocks that they just put the Blockbuster emblem on. It's probably one big smock company. They just utilize all them for their smock gear. We got some Disney clamshells down here. The clamshell cases. He got uh, Secret of Nim 2. Never saw the set this the sequel to Secret of Nim. But there is one. Oh, I remember this. This is pretty good. The uh, Tall Tale. It's kind of a deep cut Disney one. Saw that a couple times back in the day. Escape to Witch Mountain. That's good. That's pretty good. If this is five dollars, that's a pretty good deal. Wonder if it's actually in there. Yeah, look at that. That's a pretty good deal, five dollars for uh, the VHS. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang here. Jungle to Jungle 2, that darn cat. Haley Mills collection there. This is one of my favorite Will Ferrell movies. I know a lot of people probably disagree with me on this, but this movie is freaking hilarious. This and Bewitched. Oh, it's right here, Bewitched. These are two, honestly, of my favorite Will Ferrell films. They're kind of completely different than normal Will Ferrell films. They're kind of more family, PG-ish than some of his other comedy. I mean, even though, you know, Elf is very family-friendly too. That's a really good one too. But these are, both of these are amazing. Yeah, that movie's hilarious. The Witch is hilarious, but this movie is classic. There's a whole scene about coffee. Half-calf? Half-calf? Oh my gosh. Club Paradise, Ro a Robin Williams deep cut. Wow, Rick Moranis, Robin Williams. I used to watch this all the time back in the day. Holy cow, I totally forgot. There's a joke that Rob Williams tells on this where he he had met a guy and he gave advice to to only wear one glove. Just wear one glove, telling a story like, I give good advice, I'm paraphrasing. I give good advice, I met a guy once and I told him, just wear one glove and his career took off. Who was that guy? Willie Mays. Okay, they're, they're kind of half and half mixed in. Well, three-quarter Blu-rays, the other half VHS. There's definitely some, some VHSs in here. Ooh, here's a tough one to find. This really isn't on streaming, and this, the Blu-ray's tough to find. Cocoon on VHS, filmed in Florida. What, a, just a perfect film. I mean, you think of a perfect film, Cocoon, Ron Howard. Was that his director directorial debut? If it wasn't, it was one of his early ones. Man, this movie. It gets it gets me every time. I love Cocoon. Just a just a flawless, flawless movie. The game. That's a good one. Who else was in Game? It was uh, Sean Penn. That's right. Right. Yeah, Sean Penn. Michael Douglas and Sean Penn. Dead Zone. Anthony Michael Hall. Copland. The Stallone movie that hardly anybody saw. Good movie. All the cops in New York lived over in Jersey, and the 
the the main cop that had to like you know watch over i'll make sure that they all abided by the law was stallone he gained a lot of weight for that movie springer classic scrooged roxanne supposedly there's a house in celebration that someone built modeled after daryl hannah's house in roxanne again i'm never hoo hoo no i don't think i will stand down mr slade so if you're on the lookout to add to your dvd or vhs collection definitely dvd collection dvds are still your thing pop over to the fair check out the you also get some really good photos let's say you don't want to buy any physical media you can show up in here and get some really good photos you know, for social media and stuff it's a really good backdrop if that's your if that's your forte pretty neat little setup that they got oh here's a blu-ray look at this it's a blu-ray a rental blu-ray live by night interesting it actually says rental and it's a blu-ray it's also kind of funny i see other people walking around with these on and i think that they're workers for the experience a good one too. Giant Depth's great in this. Paul Rubens? think Paul Rubens is in this? Yeah, Paul Rubens in this also. Here's one I haven't seen. I never saw, for what reason, Tequila Sunshine always slipped past my radar. I always see it in the VHS store or the video store I worked out, but against all odds, man. A couple Jeff Bridges movies side by side, wedged on either side of Dances with Wolves. Completely fantastic film. It will go on what well, is legendary status that everyone is seeing. And then there's this one. You know what's funny? This is on this is actually on my watch list to stream very, very soon. I was just talking about overboard over here. I was just talking about three men and a baby as well. This is another freaking great Steve Martin movie. Father of the Bride, just a just an epic, epic film. Windy City? I don't think I've seen that one. Out of Africa, of course, I've seen also. Mentioning uh, Indiana, Hoosiers, probably greatest basketball film ever. Oh my gosh, Places in the Heart. This is awesome. I freaking loved this movie. I used to, my mom used to watch this all the time. Sally Field Classic, Malkovich, just Danny Glover. You got the ghost stand up over here, and then again, a lot more of the clamshells of the Disney ones over here. Some pretty good ones right through here. Look. I've got a cardboard cutout here for Babe. And then down here, you got American Anthem. I don't think I ever saw that, but it's the new vision of love and triumph from the director of Purple Rain. And then you got over here, you got the stickers over here, blockbuster movie intro right here. You got a little pinball style machine, the movie blaster. All right, so I just had my question asked. This is Dom DeLuise's? Nope. Really? Where did, where did you guys get that? How did you get a hold of that? Um, the prop store, yeah. anytime they get Burt Reynolds stuff, right. they email me. Okay. And somebody actually outbid me, and I was that. horribly upset. And like three months later, they said, hey, the guy never paid. Yeah. So, Dom DeLuise's jacket, they, he was driving the ambulance. Correct. And, and so this, what was this? I don't remember the truck. Which, which, which? Um, Mad Dog. Okay. And, Alfie Wise is driving and he says, Mad Dog, you are going to take the yeah. shortcut to the interstate and he goes through all the trees. Yes, up the side of the thing. Yeah. So what? Point, so it was like multiple. Up the colors. side of the on uh, yeah. out of the out of the yeah. hotel, up the side of the ramp. Yes, sir. Holy cow, that's right. Okay. We actually have, uh, the whole reason this store exists is for me to show off my Burt Reynolds collection. So really? we have, you know, in Best Little Whorehouse in Texas. Okay. Um, there's a scene where Dom comes into town and Bird comes and shoots at him and they all run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have the outfit from the poster and when he falls into the Really? It, it, it Man. Smell a you love you love Bert. I do love some Bert. Did I you know. get a lot of this from the place in South Florida when he sold a lot of it? He actually gave me so I would go help. So there's a Trans Am network of people. Okay. Um, and I met him when we would do autographs. I would go help take money for him. And he knew, I, I was wearing a Blockbuster shirt one day, and he said, oh, I bet you would like this, so he gave me that. He Is that also where you gave, got that? Yeah, and Man, the whole cool. idea of this came about. Because um, of that. Well, this was under my TV, and I was watching Captain Marvel, and she falls through a Blockbuster, and I needed a Halloween theme. And here we go, and that's where the True Lies standee and the Babe standee come in. She I saw shoots, the Babe one, yeah. Yeah, she shoots that as she leaves the store. 
Yeah. Which movie? Um, Captain Marvel. Oh, Captain Marvel. Yeah. I have not seen Captain Marvel yet. Of the two. Okay. I, it's amazing. I've seen True Lies about 87 times. So this was a Blockbuster exclusive. That's why it has a sticker on it and it's blue. Mm -hmm. Do you have any of the ones that were the weird Blockbuster edits? Remember how they would chop the movies up? I mean, I'm sure if we watched it. Yeah, as a matter of fact, we were talking about that the other day. It would because... usually say it on the cover. It would say Blockbuster edit and they would trim out a lot of the like raunchy oh, stuff. Well, so... Okay, that's the yeah. sliver. Yeah. Yeah, I want to find one of those. I mean, a lot of people I say it, they don't believe me that they that Blockbuster used to like chop their films up and like put their own Blockbuster edit out. They did. So the, it would be you could go back and probably look to see which ones they did it. So this goes on to Sunday the tenth. Sandy will be here Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And who? And Sandy is the one that runs the one up in Bend. Correct. Okay. She's, uh, the general manager. Have you ever seen the Machinist? I'm sure you've seen the Machinist. I have not. So Christian Bale basically lost oh, yes. a so ton of weight. weight. Yes, so he, the, in the commentary, he said the director wanted him to basically be a human skeleton. That was in the script. So he showed up weighing like 94 pounds. And he's like, Christian Bale. Skin. And he is, the director was like, what the heck? But he went from like, I think he did Batman. Or no, he did American Psycho before this. Then he did this. And then he did Batman. So he went from like buff to this to back to just amazing. It's a, it's a it's a good movie, but no one's seen that. No one's seen it, well, but it's a great movie. So that's I knew when we purchased the video store in Texas. I could tell when he was when he started from when he finished based on his movies. Are you, you talking about Christian Bale? Well, just in general, like there's a lot of 2010s up to to the end. You know what I mean? You say like, Easter egg. What do you mean Easter egg? Just you know, the better, the harder to find. I put a 28 28 weeks later out the other day, and I could hear the kids scream oh my god i found it so you're it. cycling this out as they sell you're bringing correct, more in correct, correct. gotcha so you got three what is today today the uh today's the sixth so you have four more days five more days counting tonight. oh it's the fifth it's the fifth my bad it's the fifth I said the day at the beginning of the video, and I totally don't remember. Yeah. This is a great movie too, The Mechanic, Charles Bronson. I don't know if you're See, into. I, I love the. Yeah. You like that. So you, this it, is one of the best. So this has Jan Michael Vincent from Airwolf in oh, it. Oh, poor Jan Michael Vincent. The ending of this movie is the most insane ending, and as soon as you get the climactic twist at the ending, half a second later, credits roll, movie's over, just like that. And what else? They don't is give Jan me... Michael Vincent in. Cooper. Cooper. Burt Reynolds, okay. Oh, I can tie Burt Reynolds in everything. <laughs> yeah, like, that's like your Kevin Bacon? <laughs> so how, well, how, I was going to ask one more thing. How, how many of these, like, what's the touring cycle on something like this? Or is there a touring cycle? So that's what we're working on. So to tell you the truth, the way this, so now we're, we've, we've completely emptied two full blockbusters. One was in Ashland. Yeah. That's where these came from. These are all pre-2004. Or after 2004. So now that we've tried to do this three or four times, these click all together very easily. So I would imagine, yeah, the 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 the, uh, the shelving and all the signage is harder to find than physical Absolutely. media. You can Absolutely. always find physical media. So here's where this gets tricky. This is a like a, an added piece. Okay. Oh, to hold that on. Right. Bracket. So that takes us an hour. Now, just to mount that on there? Well, because you have to take your finger and get this to. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah then you get the pinch, you pinches your correct. skin. Now. Oh, yeah, I worked retail for a long time, so I get it. That's what these are called. So these are called the the rental uh, racks. Oh, is this the. Have a whole oh, that's the, that's the Piranha remake. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, it's not. Cabin horrible. Fever was pretty good for a newer, newer oh, horror film. Like, Even though that's probably like 25 years ago, but newer. So you're only using stuff that is from old blockbusters. So, yes, other than this wall is non-blockbuster specific. This is more our monster video display. However, we just wanted to make sure it was super safe. That's why we have every couple feet. Oh, look at this, Titanic. The Titanic guy that collect. Have you seen, have you seen the guy on Instagram? That wants a million. Yeah. Has he, has he been in here yet? No, but I have something. When he does come in, I have something for him. Oh, he has three thousand Titanic VHSs. I and know, trying to get to a million, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's trying to build the entire ship Aww. out of VHSs. Well, we've all got to have a hobby, don't we? <laughs> this is a great movie. Lesson Zero, yeah, classic. I'm surprised nobody's got it. 
That's pretty good for five bucks. Absolutely. Well, that's the other thing. I'm having a hard time giving up some of them for five Point bucks. Point break, great. So everything in here is five dollars as far as physical media Absolutely. goes. Oh, here's a good one too. Crisscross. Crisscross. Man. This is how you know I worked at a video store. Hold on. So basically somebody would return it, you would pop it open like this, and then you would do this, and you would check the tape to see if the tape was not all bent out of shape, then you would close it back. That That's when you know if someone was a, a, a video store employee, that they could pop it open, hit the little thing, open it up, and then you do the trick where you twist it around because it would get stuck or broken. Old video store. ShopRite Supermarket. Yep. Remember when you could actually go to the supermarket and rent whatever you wanted? I used to have to go find Adventures in Babysitting Classic. at our gas station. There's a movie that was heavily added for Disney+. Plus. Uh, you're right, you're right. And I'm I mean, some of the stuff in there, hey, probably shouldn't be on Disney, but yeah. I mean, But they chopped it up. Think about Touchstone in general. I mean, Pretty Woman, for God's sake. Yeah, Touchstone. right there. Yeah, biggest, I think it was the biggest Touchstone movie they ever had. I should not have been watching this movie. Oh, Bachelor Party or Tom Hanks? Yeah, I feel like Bachelor Party was <laughs> Porky's. <laughs> kind like of Porky. It, <laughs> it almost has like the Porky style, like box cover, you know, kind of kind of style with a font. Well, what was that? It was that 84 and Porky's was 82. So I guess they figured every two years. This was, pre, this was pre-Splash, right? Splash was right after this? Yeah. I didn't even notice the popcorn machine up here. So you, you're selling all the merch too. I think they're selling the merch, so. I think I'm gonna end up getting a shirt. Oh, they even have a fanny pack over here. Hold on a second, look at the fanny pack here. Here is a freaking Blockbuster Video Bend, Oregon fanny pack. Popcorn candle, lanyards, last Blockbuster sticker down there. Oh, those Edward Scissor hands. A little floor mat. And here's the ones that were on, like like uh, they said when I walked in. Oh, wait, you look up here. The on-demand video cassette rewinder. You got the Blockbuster stuff up top there as well. Even a bucket hat. I really like the, the fanny pack. It's really, really cool. All right, you know what? I think I'm probably going to get a magnet also. There's also a VHS ornament over here. I think I, you know, I got room for my little magnet area. Maybe I'll get the, oh, here's like your, your textbook shirt here. There's also the Be Kind Rewind. I don't know if, I'll, you know what, I think I'd probably just rather get, I'd probably get this one because I don't, it's not the last blockbuster on the planet because I'm not in Bend, Oregon, but I will get a blockbuster. I will get one of those. I think that's what I'm gonna end up buying. Well, evidently this candle smells like popcorn. Popcorn smelled candle. And, to celebrate my one day employment at Blockbuster, I'm gonna count my name. All right, I'll give you this back since my shift is now over. Shift is over, we'll see you tomorrow morning right. 9 a.m. for your next shift. All right, now that I'm back outside, now it's all fully open now. They got the little stanchions oh, out no, front. They, they also have the Blockbuster video game championship and the hour time hours are on now. So these are the hours are actually on. Blockbuster's experience. Check it out. No re-entry, I'm on the way out. Thank you. That was really awesome. Heading home now, obviously. Big thanks to Julie, who runs the place, for being so kind, for showing me around. Loved it. And that's gonna do it for today. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.